Okay, this video is going to be about Android 3.1. It's a system update that just rolled through for my Motorola Zoom tablet. And there's a couple of upgrades to the OS that I'll show you. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you the actual process of the system update. Now, when I turn on my tablet, this is what I get. It says system update. A system update is ready to install. Your Android device will restart and install the update. So I'm going to click install now. And system update rebooting to install in five seconds. Okay, so it went through its paces, and now I have updated my Motorola Zoom tablet. Now I'm running Honeycomb, Android Honeycomb 3.1. Now there's a couple of changes that have been done to the operating system. Uh, some of the things you don't see, supposedly the browser's better, you get better HTML5 performance out of this, and the animations are better, supposedly. One of the other changes on the device is that you have um, your multitasking button down here in the lower left hand corner. If you click on it, it'll bring up the last five things or last seven, depending which way you have this tablet oriented. If you have it in landscape, you have the last five. If it's in uh, portrait, you have the last seven. But now instead of being limited only to that, you can actually scroll through all the programs that you were using prior to where you're at right now. So I can just scroll down and check out all the programs and it makes it uh, a better multitasking experience. Also now you can rent movies on the device. If you go to the Android market you'll notice that you have Android apps on the top, books, and now movies. So you can click on that and you can actually check out what Google has to offer but uh, you get 24 hours of viewing time on it once you've started watching it and uh, that's pretty cool. You can watch it on your tablet or pump it out to your home entertainment system. Speaking of which, uh, you can actually, uh, there's support now to plug in USB devices such as mice and game pads. Now I can't actually try this out because as you might know, the uh, port on the bottom of the Zoom is a mini USB and I don't have a regular USB to mini USB converter. So I can't try that out, um, but supposedly you can actually use that on the device as well. Now one of the other upgrades or updates to the operating system here are resizable widgets. Now the widgets that are resizable are pretty much only the ones from Google right now, but since it's included, the option is included in the operating system now, I would imagine that uh, whoever creates widgets for the device are gonna take advantage of that. Now I'm just gonna bring over an empty pane here and I'm gonna drop some widgets here and then you can see uh, what I'm talking about. We'll drop a bookmark widget in. We will drop a calendar widget in. And let's see if there's anything else we're gonna drop in there. Eh, we'll just leave it at that. Let's go back over to that screen there. Now to resize the widget, all you need to do is long press on it and then let go. And then you have a little border around it with some arrows. Now in the case of this, this is a bookmark widget. It only resizes vertically, not horizontally. So you can resize it however you want. Make it small, make it large. And then if you want to get out of the resizing option, you just tap it again. Okay. For the calendar, I'm just going to do the same thing, long press. And there we go. Now this one, you can actually resize in uh, vertical and horizontal. So I can bring it vertically higher, make it taller, and also make it fatter horizontally here. So that is Android Honeycomb 3.1, some useful updates to the operating system there, and I always like to stay current and on the cutting edge. Right now you can only get this for 3G enabled Motorola Zoom tablets. However, in the next couple of weeks, for those of you who own a Motorola Zoom that uh, only has Wi-Fi on it, 
it will roll out to you as well. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any comments, questions, anything, post it down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.